Hello. Right at the top of our Facebook live cast tonight. Thank you for being oh. with us. But right off the top, get a mirror so you can decode the secret message tonight. We've got the image reversed here so that we can read your comments. But if you want to know the secret message, get a mirror, hold it up to your phone or computer or whatever, and then you'll see the secret message. Okay, so I know you can probably not even hear us, and that's because the cicadas are going all over the place, and we were you hurried me so much to get out here, and I forgot to bring the microphone. We were going to have a, a special microphone. We'll speak up, that's all. Yeah. Hey, in just a minute, we'll tell you how, can I show everybody, giving oh. you the shirt off my back, the prize tonight is going to be the shirt that Marianne made me take off, get rid of. Hi, Dan. Put in the giveaway pal because she claimed it was too big. It does look rather tent-like. It is like, uh, it yeah. is a shirt that is made for a man three a nice times, shirt. Bob's Anyway, you, you, can, you can win it, and then you can eat all you want. There you go. Hi, Lori. We'll tell Hi, you how Tom. you can get it for free Thank in just, you. just a minute or two. Yes, and I don't have internet here, so I don't know. I'm seeing some messages up here. Hi, Jim. How you doing? Happy Tuesday. Uh, hi, Chris. Yes, a little man in a big shirt. That's him. Hi, Bob. How you doing? Hi, Lori. Well, it's so nice to have all of you with us again. You know what I brought? Hey, Ellen. What did you bring? Okay, so uh, you know that on our food website, Suso's Fork, which is... Oh, you know what? Maybe I can show you what it looks like here. Ooh. Oh, the drink? Well, this is the website. It's backwards, it's, but it's, though. It's going to be backwards, yeah. yeah. But here it is, Suso's Fork. And you can get it at susosfork.com. Anyway, thank you very much, Tom. Um, oh, hi, Sally. Yeah, they're keeping it down. The they're keeping it down. keeping it down. Anyway, um, the latest recipe is the... Um, wait, this is not the latest recipe. Uh, wait, I need to update here. But the latest recipe is a daiquiri made with hibiscus leaves. And Thanks for sharing um, the video, Linda. We like that. I Hi, can. Stacey. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much for sharing the video. Um, I, I don't know why I can't call it up here. But I think that we don't have internet out here or something. I don't know what's going on. Are the on. Cubs still losing 2 to nothing as we... Uh, are broadcasting now? We're not broadcasting. What are we doing? Yeah, we're live casting. Here yeah. it is. I found it. You see these two drink recipes? The Havana Girl, the Rum Fizz, and the Frozen Daiquiri. Well, guess what? I made them because I'm addicted to this hold that up? Um, to this hibiscus. Can I get to it? Or do you want to... <laughs> I was going to hold it up while you were talking. <laughs> um, Go ahead. So I'm addicted to hibiscus leaves. And really, it all started when I had passion tea from Starbucks. And the passion tea has hibiscus leaves in the tea bags. And I always, I don't know, I always loved that flavor. So I started to experiment with it and I made simple syrup. This is the simple syrup. This is backwards, the drink looks better. <laughs> Wait, let me, let me hold it the other way. Okay, there. <laughs> so this is, oh, thank you, Ken. Um, Thanks for the update, Tim and John on the cut. Three zero. So this is simple syrup made with um, hibiscus, which is pretty much a hibiscus syrup. That's what it is. It's sugar, water, and hibiscus leaves. And by the way, those things are not cheap for whatever reason. Anyway, I wanted to show you what it looks like because it's so pretty, and that's what makes the drinks pink. And the, the drink that we have up tonight that we emailed to anybody who's a subscriber is a millennial pink daiquiri. And if you don't know what Millennial Pink looks like, well, look at that recipe, suzosfork.com. Yeah, and subscribe. Put your email in the box. You get free uh, recipes every week. No junk, we promise. Robert, are you are you in Scotland now? So we'll get back to it no. on that. You mean Bob Robert. Theory? Oh. Robert. Well, Robert is also... No, no, but not that Robert. Oh, okay. Oh, he's on his way over. This one's on his way over. <laughs> <laughs> Those drinks are so good. I'm trying not to drink them during the week because it's like a lot of calories. You know what I mean? Um, but well, I could go for a good root beer float about now. And I, I, do, do you do this with your or black cow, as we sophisticated drinkers call it? Do you like to sort of mix the ice cream in the root beer so it's it's one consistency of creaminess and root beer mixed together? 
It's, it's a little bubbly, but it's creamy. That's what I like to do. Marco says you can go to a Mexican store to get the Jamaica leaves, and you're calling it Jamaica leaves because, I mean, I've always known this in Spanish to be also to be Flor de Jamaica, uh, but it is yeah, which means Jamaica flower, but um, it's also called hibiscus. And um, yeah, you can get it there. I actually, I think I went to Mariano's and I bought, yeah, I did. I bought a box of the, the tea bags because it's easiest to make with the, the tea bags. Try elderflower liqueur. I love that stuff. Elderflower liqueur is so good. Hey Vince from Texas, how you doing? Talk louder because uh, Thomas is uh, with us from Fort Wayne, Indiana. Look at this. So we'll Great speak to louder. See Someone from Scotland? Oh, Connie Jeffrey says, someone else from Scotland. We must have missed that message. I think Lillian. that's Robert. That's the person I would acknowledge. Okay. Anyway, try those recipes. The hibiscus, The it's like a mojito yeah. with prosecco on top. It's so good. Yeah, Jeff, get me some Sprecher's root beer right away. And try the hibiscus frozen daiquiri, millennial pink. It's so good. So good and I've been cooking all day so uh, we're gonna have new recipes coming up so if you subscribe we will definitely send you uh, a free recipe and every speaking week. Speaking of that if you go to Suso's Fork you'll know the answer to our question tonight and if you're the first person to post the correct answer in the comments we'll send you the shirt right off my back not this one but the shirt we held up a minute ago the one that was in a, was featured on Facebook and was in a video as well in the studio when you were chastising me for wearing clothes too big? Oh, we posted it on Instagram. It was one of those, like, boomerangs. So you were, like, doing a little dance mm -hmm. back and All forth. Right, let's do this because I know we're having a little issue with signal, the signal stopping and starting a little bit. So, hello, Arlington, Texas. Jan wants to know what I made today, and what I made today were the most awesome meatballs. Okay, they were great. so good. Grass-fed beef, and um, they were just delicious. I, I, I sauteed them in coconut oil, and are the hibiscus drinks sweet? Hibiscus itself is not sweet. It's got a very distinct taste, but it's not sweet. But everybody, like at Starbucks, usually they'll mix, if you want something a little bit sweet, they'll mix a little bit of sweetened lemonade with it. So, um, hi from Pilsen. Yeah, cicadas. And That's Robert's right. having some shepherd's pie. <laughs> oh, is that true, or are you just making no, that up? No, he has. He told me. I love shepherd's yeah. pie. All right, what's the question now to get for the giveaway? Well, um, if you go to our susosport.com website, and by the way, the uh, the thing is uh, the uh, the address is posted right here uh, above us I think or below yes. us or next to us sounds, whatever. sounds like we're in the zoo I know John yeah uh, and you go to where our videos are mm -hmm. um, what kitchen did we get into to spy on the cook you can tell from the headline under videos at Suso's Fork what kitchen did we get into to spy first person to post that answer gets that shirt Okay. All right. Uh, oh, thank you, clear? Vince. Did we make the contest clear? Vince says, congratulations to our daughter because we must acknowledge that she, uh, she made captain on the tennis team and we're so proud of her because, you know, the way you make captain is that your teammates vote for you. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and now, now I can say, was, hey, captain, empty the dishwasher. Yeah, hey, exactly. Captain. Yeah. Uh, Hell's Kitchen. That's very Clean funny. Clean up your room, Captain. That is very funny. Hell's Kitchen. What's new with you? Not Hell's Kitchen. Oh, uh, I still. Oh <laughs> my God, that's so You're funny. The really? tinsel Sally. hat. Sally, you've got a good memory. That yeah. is really cool. That was a um, video. That was something we did on Fox Thing a hundred years ago. But it was a video. It was a video of you sitting there in right, a in right. a chair telling the yeah, story. Yeah, but, but how, where did you see that video, Sally? On YouTube or something? I don't know. I don't think we posted it, did we? We have to find all our stuff. Are we, we going to ask? Okay, so wait. What is, what is... Oh. I, Captain. 
What's the answer? Mm -hmm. We're waiting for a winner for the We're shirt. We're waiting for the answer. Yeah. Yeah, so you have to go to susosfork.com, go to the video area, and tell us uh, what kitchen were we into. Yeah, Sally recorded it. It's wow. the very, you recorded that? It's the very first uh, video that comes up. That's very, very nice. Jim made carnitas today, and he had them for dinner tonight. Do uh, you want to test out really, that really title great. and see if uh, friends like the title for our music segment we're going to be doing once a week? Um, sure. Do you like a segment that we, where we talk okay, well, about music? It would be a talk. Can you, can you hit that? It would be a talk segment Move about on, a talk is. segment about music. No, you can't win again just yet, uh, Patrick. Why if not? Because he just won. So what? Maybe he needs this shirt. Yeah, I'm tough. And <laughs> okay. You gotta spread the wealth. I guess not fair. Um, uh, so we're going to do a talk segment once a week about music. Could be a music interview, could be a discussion, could be people calling in about uh, a concert, could be anything. Do we call it? Wait a, a minute. It's not just anything. It's about like, music. But talk we, show about music. We are going to have guests on the show. From oh, we always get a hole in the wall, Tom. <sighs> yeah, I love that place. Um, we're going to have guests, musical guests. Sometimes, on the show. but sometimes we'll just take calls and talk about maybe a concert, but, or people will call in and talk about the first album they ever bought. Yeah, but It'll mostly about but, concert tickets. But mostly it's going to be a guest. We're no, a guest. no, I don't think so. I think so. Yeah. Anyway, do we so. call the segment? Uh, what do we call the segment? Music people? Do we call it pop talk? Do we call it? What are? What were some of the other names we were thinking of? What Free do we, bird. What do we call it? <laughs> Anyway, if you have a suggestion for a segment where we talk about music, let us know. Rock talk. Uh, music about, people. Do we know what music people? Yeah, we're, we're, and we might play a, a piece of music or two, but basically it's a discussion about some aspect of the <coughs> of the music industry. Bless you. Thank you. And now, let's wait, wait for Ken a winner. Ken says it's too big for me. And why can't we just let Patrick win if Oof. he knows? Las Anclas. No. no. Yes. Yes, yes. Tim, Boy, you really, you watched the piece. Well, Tim, actually, I, we would have accepted a Panama kitchen, right? Yes, but he actually read Way the fine go. print. Yeah. Way to go. Or watched the piece, yes. Who, who won? Tim. Hey, Tim, congratulations. And, and I love it because I think Tim is a first-time winner. So, Tim, what you do is send me your contact info, and we'll mail you out the shirt. Send me your address. Just email it. Email your contact info. Remind me you won the shirt. And the email address is, it's right up there, I think. Bob and Marianne, WLSAM.com. Music notes, somebody said. I like that. Music notes? Music notes. That's it. That's, That's really, not bad. I like that. Music Rock notes. blog? But then it's like a, a blog. But I like it. I like music notes, too. Not bad. Can we show Tim the size of the shirt he won? It's not that I hope big. it fits it just, you. It just looks bigger than it really it's, is. It's pretty big. No, the cicadas only come Look out for this. Facebook Live, uh, actually. Wait, what Gary. is the size of this shirt? Someone else had oh, it first, no Debbie? Wonder. Debbie, what? Oh, wait a minute. And that uh, said music notes. But do we have the right winner for the shirt? Whoever is the do. right one. You people police yourselves pretty well. Well, we'll look and make sure that it's Tim, but I think it's Tim. Okay. Yes. Um, it's an extra large. What are you doing wearing an extra large shirt, Bob? You wear a medium. I don't know. Oh my Maybe. God, no yeah. wonder. All right, no we, wonder. our battery Wait, is low. What else is happening today and in so, the news that my, we need to talk about? And my about? battery is low. What do we need to talk about that is in the news today? Well, uh, that what's happened today? People were talking and do we about. We still have a country. People were talking about how it took them like 15 hours to drive back to Chicago from downstate. Uh, oh. Especially if you're trying to come back from Carbondale. I think after the eclipse, everybody decided, well, let's wait around, maybe grab a bite to eat, and then uh, we'll we'll drive up north later uh, when the traffic has died down. Well, everybody thought the same thing, so people had horror stories about driving back to Chicago from Carbondale and, and areas in southern Illinois to watch the eclipse. And then uh, the whole time back, they were listening to the radio, and they were hearing audio of Tom Skilling crying. John, I'm not grouchy. <laughs> he is. He's grouchy. Yeah. They were listening Tom to... Tom was crying during the eclipse coverage. I know. It was so cute. Did you see that? 
It was so sweet. Well, you know how we knew about it. It was so sweet. You people told us on Facebook here last night. Yeah. We didn't know about it. You guys told us, right. Then we talked about it on our WLS AM 890 uh, 10 to noon radio show this morning. Yeah, and right. and uh, and then you know we played it. We played the clips. Thanks for letting us know, and we listened to it. And it was just, it was really the sweetest, sweetest thing. Oh look, Tim wants you to sign the shirt. You know what, Tim? When you send that email, could you say please autograph it to me so I remember to do that? And I'll Bob, be happy do to do tonight. that for you. Just do it tonight. You don't need a reminder. <laughs> well, oh, remind God. me in case I forget. That's <laughs> it for tonight. Okay. Take away his man card. Yeah. Why? I don't yeah, know. I do. Why, Chris? All right, thanks for being with us. Thank tonight. you for being with us. We're running out of juice. That's why we're I've running. run. I've run out of juice. All right, take care. Bye.